Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. It's time for Just Fix My Mess, all right? Now, on the line, we got Jim on the line. Jim, good morning. Hi, Jim. Hey, good morning. What's your question for Jess? Well, my question is, um, I want to know if she can relate sort of to, like, my situation because I've been in an 11-year relationship mm -hmm. with a uh, less melanated being, and I was wondering if... Um, like, is it meant for me to be in this relationship? Because, you know, I mean, I grew up saying, like, I would never get with a different kind of race. You can say white, man. You can say white. It's okay. Why can I? No, I don't like to say white because white and black is colored. You know what I mean? And I don't want to describe people uh, as colored. Okay, so you're, ca <laughs> you know you're Caucasian queen. <laughs> yeah, my Caucasian queen. Mm -hmm. So, you know. What I'm trying to figure out is, like, I've been with a lot of black women in relationships, and it seems like all black women uh -oh. want is too much expectation for far as money situations. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it seems like the love ain't authentic based off of the white woman love. But then I'll be thinking, like, uh, maybe it was something that, uh, you ever seen that movie uh, with Will Smith where they were sending out the little signals and signs? I forget the name of the movie. But, uh,. Mm -hmm. It was kind of like a mind reading thing to where they was like brainwashing. I'm thinking like, did I get brainwashed or something into to liking white women? Or well, nine times out of ten, if you're <laughs> thinking that you are brainwashed, then you probably are. What is the problem? But, What's the actual problem? You know, but the thing, but, but the thing is, uh, like, I see a lot of it now. Like, is this a coincidence or is this a pandemic or something? I mean, like, or is it just me? Um, I I I can't tell you because I I I don't date. You never dated uh, outside of your race? But, uh, not Caucasian people. My boyfriend now is Mexican and black, but it's, it's black up in there, you know, so. Um, well, should, I mean, should, should, I mean, do, and, and do you think that I should, uh, like, leave it? <laughs> what is the actual <laughs> problem? Like, what is the problem in your relationship right now? Let's take the away the fact the, that she's not black. Like, just what is the yeah, problem? It's the more, yeah, it's the morality of it. You know what I mean? It's like, I look so at it because I, I so, met another black woman, and it's like, she fit me. You see what I'm saying? It's like, she okay. takes me to the next level. So that's what it is. So you feel guilty for dating this white woman because you did meet a black woman while you was with the white woman, and the, the black woman fit you. It sounds like some Jonathan Major yeah. stuff going on. <laughs> okay? So now you got your Coretta, and now you got the Cl <laughs> Hillary Clinton to the curb. Yeah. Yeah, but see, the thing about it, see, what I'm starting to realize is that we ain't a perfect match. It's like everything, we opposites. You see what I'm saying? It's like, we're, I, I don't know if I was hypnotized or and something so, when I met her. No, it's okay. Sometimes you were just you were just tired of things not working with your race, and you thought that you may get lucky outside of your race. And now sometimes you got to live it to understand it. You got to live it to actually see. Is, is Maybe you did. I wouldn't say it's a mistake. You actually had to see. You had to go step in that pond, and then you jump right back out. But yeah, it's all right. I, I, I used to... Yeah, I used to joke around and tell people, like, I ain't going to never get with no milk or magnesia and all mm -hmm. this, blah, 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 you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it's like, it ended up manifesting in my life what mm -hmm. I didn't want. Mm -hmm. and you now, know what I'm saying? I'm just, and now I'm stuck, and I'm like, oh, my God, how do I call this off? No, 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 you call it off like you called it off with all them black women. You just, that's, <laughs> it's, it's the same <laughs> way. It's the same way, you know? She's been let down before, I'm sure, and I'm so have you. So you can just tell her this is not at all, you know, what I thought it was going to be. I, I definitely did love you. I have love for you, but we're just too different, and I'm hoping that you can understand that this is not going to work. Yeah, that's you it. think that'll be that easy? I think it'll be that you easy. You that that easy? Make sure you call the police, you let them know ahead of time oh, before man. you do this just in case anything happens where you may need the law. Damn. Yeah, she's not, we don't deal with the law around right here. We we hold court in the street, baby. Oh, uh, even her? Uh, I'm sure she do. She don't know nothing about no police. I called her good. Yeah. All right. all right, well, then let's see. Break up and then let me call back next Wednesday. Let me see how you doing. <laughs> asking for bail. It'll be a collect call. <laughs> yeah. asking for bail. Thank you. I know let's that's see. right. Hey, hey, I know that's right. Hey, you live and you learn, I guess. Huh? Yes, you live and you learn, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's all right. You need to go donate to Dr. Umar's school, man. Go to drumarjohnson.com right now. Donate to the FDMG Academy. 800-585-1051. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just fix my mess. If you have relationship problems or issues, call us now. she help you out. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.
Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Just Hilarious, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We're in the middle of Just Fix My Mess. We have Mo on the line. Mo, what's your question for Jess? Hey, Mo. What'd you say? What's your question, baby? How you doing, Mo? Hi, how are you? I'm good. Uh, okay, I my question is that basically I was dealing with somebody for a few months or whatever, and her she just her her switch just switched. Like she just don't want to mess with me no more. She don't want to do none of that no more. None of that. And before I was dealing with her, when I met her, I did tell her I was healing and doing all that. And now she kind of, I guess I just did too much to a point that she don't even want to talk to me no more. Okay, so what do you mean like, by healing? What what were, what are some of her red flags? Did she have explained to you that she didn't like behaviors that you were displaying because you were healing? No, not at all. From the jump, I told her I got a relationship like four months ago, a three-year relationship. I'm healing. I kind of really don't want to get into nothing really serious i'm just vibing or whatever and that was last year february we started we stopped talking very very heavily september and then i would say around december that's when i'm like you know what all right maybe you know i could do something but i guess because i was so much on her back she doesn't want to like she just was like it just turns her off and yeah. then to a point that she's like, I'm single now, mm -hmm. and I want to do what I want to do. And I'm like, you wasn't on that time in the whole year I was messing with you. Like, what's up with you? Yeah. And now I just... So it could be two things. It, it could be two things mixed. It could be the fact that you actually started dealing with somebody. Um, what are you doing right now? Is everything okay? You breathing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm perfectly fine. I'm driving on the conduit right now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it could be two things. It, it could be two things mixed. Like, you jumped and started messing with somebody while you were healing. That's not. That's never good for you, and it's not fair yes. for the next person. Um, you And that wasn't just a little relationship. That's three years. That's three years of your life, obviously. And that relationship, that breakup hurt you, because if you had to heal from it, that means you weren't really ready to end it or... Some it just it was a lot of baggage, you know what I'm saying? And then to put that on the next person, even though you were upfront about it and honest, it still probably leaked over into what y'all had going on. And 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 to take on somebody else's problems straight up is um that that could be a lot. That could be a lot. And then now she probably uh, with you being on her back, you were. Uh, basically making her pay for what your ex did, maybe something like that. And um, she probably found somebody else in the midst of y'all talking, and now her not wanting to talk to you at all as a result of her moving forward with that person or her just not wanting to be tied to this anyway. So like you said, you probably did do too much, but you have to heal a little bit properly or more because nobody ever heals completely. Like we it, we live everyday life and we, we never are healed completely. We're, we're healing every day. And some of us don't even know, you know what I mean, what we're healing from or what, the problems that we do have. So, but you want to make sure that you're you're clear headed and you're actually over a lot of things before you just start something new with somebody else. Yeah, and that's what I thought. Cause that's what I always tell people: don't let your past don't let your past hurt, like you know, affect your future happiness. But also, I was upfront with it and I told her that. And yeah. she like she was bluntly told me like, "What do you think I'm gonna be waiting for months?" And I'm like, "I'm I'm not ready yet." And now I guess yeah. that I'm ready. She's just like, "Okay, well, I'm on the same time and you was on this whole year, so yeah. what's up?" And, and it came to a point like it's like now it's like dead. It's like she's like, "Nah, I don't want to talk to you no more." And blah, blah, blah. like yeah, even because our families met and everything. Oh wow, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but babe, yeah, you that's just. That's just what that is. That's just a result of you. Everybody ain't going to be on your time. Thank you, mama. Basically. Thanks, babe. All right, thank you. No problem. All right. 800-585-1051. Just fix my mess now. She's not an expert in anything. She has a lot of experiences, though. First of mm -hmm. all, go ahead, Envy. You want to go one more? <laughs> mm -hmm. We got Deshaun on the line. Deshaun, good morning. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? Now, Deshaun, hey. quickly tell just what's going on, brother. Man, so I was trying to get to know this chick. It's been about three months. Uh, until the, like the second month, we laid up in the bed. It's about four in the morning. She getting these phone calls. It's her ex calling, right? Mm -hmm. So to begin with, I let her know, you know, I don't want to mess with nobody that's got these lingering exes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I kind of went against myself, and I, and I brushed that under the rug. Mm -hmm. So like two or three weeks later, she gave me a phone call and said, um, she re-signed the lease for her ex-boyfriend, which they've been apart for two two years. He called the rental company, called her and said, "You know, time to re-sign the lease." 
But I'm not understanding if we're trying to build something, why would you care if, yeah. if, if he can't get that, that lease, you know what I'm saying, that same apartment again? Yeah, yeah, you might want to go ahead and cut that off. That don't necessarily mean that they are messing with each other, but, like, you can tell she, she does a lot of favors for him, and if he can't get an apartment in his own name or uh, something right. like that, like, she she the co-signing type, and I know a lot of them, and you don't want to be caught up with any of them because they ain't going to never stop doing what, they, what they're doing, ever. Right. Yeah, I'm going to mess around and catch a charge or something. Yeah, absolutely. So the fact that you put three months into it, that ain't the worst. It could have been three years. But, yeah, move on. Right. There's somebody out there for you. But leave that lead shorty alone. Damn. Yeah, I appreciate that, Jess the mess. I love y'all, man. I love you, love too. You back, Thank you, Deshaun. Now, Jess, what happened if they had kids? Like, if she had a kid with her ex and she was just doing it so, you know, baby daddy type of thing. I would never Still no? sign nothing for wrong. Damn. No, I'm, I'm just not. No? I'm not doing that. You said that, that was your best friend. That is my best friend. <laughs> I ain't signing nothing for him. It don't matter. I got best friends I ain't signing nothing Damn. for. And right. Jess is no. absolutely right. Why you always giving the worst advice to I people? Know, about right? stuff I know. Like I'm that. asking a question. I'm like, <laughs> Rome is her best friend and her he baby is. daddy. Yeah. And still, I ain't signing for nothing. That's right. Especially right. if I know his history of payment and all that. No. Exactly. Oh, that's right. You do know his history. Ain't no so. way. I ain't doing that. That's why I'm his best friend because I know I'm the best. No. Okay. <laughs> now, when we come back, we got Jess with the mess. What we talking about? Oh my God, all Usher! Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah! You right. know we talk about Usher. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> we'll do I almost forgot. <laughs> <Go> <laughs> That's on. it. I see it. <laughs> we'll do it when we come back. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.